Hi, I'm Renee Suzanne of Renee Suzanne Coaching, and today I want to ask you a super important question. Is it possible that you could be wrong about the reason that you're single? And this is an important, important question. And as a lot of you know, I was single for a long time before I met my husband on Tinder. So check out Tinder, please. Anyway, but you know, a lot of times if you're single for a while, you will have um, some opinions about why you're single or maybe you think that men are shallow or that men are intimidated by a smart, successful woman like you. Or maybe you think that it is your size or your weight or your age or whatever it is. Sometimes it, it, it is possible that you have a reason in your mind that you think that you're single or that men just don't want a woman like you. I know that I used to think these things about myself. I thought that I was too old. I thought it was my kids. Uh, I did think that maybe men were intimidated by me. All kinds of things. We all can tend to have opinions like this and sometimes they keep us from really putting ourselves out there and making an attempt to find someone because we think, oh, what's the use? Men don't want women like me anyway. And I hear this all the time. So when I was single, I did work with a couple of different coaches and I followed a lot of coaches. And one of them was Bobby Palmer and I still follow her. She's awesome. And I had an email from her the other day and it just put this idea out there and something that her coach told her to help her find love, which was you have these reasons that you think that you might uh, still be single. So test them out. Are they true? Think about it. So look at other women that you know and see if they, maybe are they super smart? If you are afraid that men might not want you because you're smart and successful and men are intimidated by you, look at other women. Are they smart? The other women that you know that have boyfriends or are married, are they smart? Is, is everyone who is married or has a significant other or is in a relationship, do, the, do any of them share this quality that you have that is keeping you from finding love? So do you know any women your age who are paired up? Do you, does all, do all the women that you know who are happy in love, do they, are they perfect? Do they all have a size two body? Are they all under 30? Are they can't, because the world is filled with people, pretty ordinary people. Let's face it, we are all ordinary and extraordinary in our own way. So. The world isn't, it's not just size two supermodels who are under 25 and gorgeous who get to be married and the rest of us are just out of luck. You know that's not true and you can prove it to yourself. So I would challenge you to go out into the world and look at other women you know and see, or even women that you don't know, and, and watch couples, watch them in the grocery store, watch them in the park, watch them out and about in their lives. Are all of the women who are in relationships a size two do they do they all have uh the perfect bodies are they all really smart or whatever and see because i bet you you can find a bunch of women just like you who are happily in love and then look at the way their men treat them do their men love them and respect them and hold their hands and put their arm around them? Do, do these men show affection and love and attention to these women that they're with? And, and just see for yourself. Take a couple of weeks to do this exercise and observe out there in the world what do the other women that you see who are happy and love look like? Do they come in all shapes and sizes and ages and walks of life? Because that's the human experience. So then ask yourself, so other women who might be older than you, who might be heavier than you or thinner than you or shorter than you or have kids or whatever, if they can be happy and love, then why not you? Why not? And don't use this as your excuse not to try, not to put yourself out there and give yourself a real chance at finding love. And please, I, I worked with a coach to help myself get to a place where I could have love in my life. 
And a lot of people do benefit from working with a coach. And I know that I have helped a lot of women find love. And so is Bobby Palmer. And there are so many people out there who can help you if you're struggling in this, if you, if you're struggling in this area and you could use a little perspective on how to have a better shot at finding love. I would love to help you. Go over to reneesuzannecoaching.com and pick up my free audio course, Five Steps to Finding the Love of Your Life. And do this exercise. Please do this exercise because women just like you find love, are happy in love every day. Just look. You'll see them. Thanks for watching.